Welcome to 5 Minute Monster, where I help you find the perfect enemies to put in your campaign, all in 5 minutes or less. I'll give you a brief overview of that creature, some tips for running it in combat, and adventure hooks to help you find a place for it in your own games. Today I'm covering the generals of undead armies, the Death Knight. Without further ado, let's get started. Paladins who forgo their oaths and die in shame become Death Knights, powerful warriors who wear the armor and wield the weapons they honed in life. Both powerful marshals and deadly spellcasters, these zombie generals often lead hordes of undead into battle, usually at the behest of an even more evil lord. Sitting in a challenge rating of 17, they are more than capable of taking on a party of adventurers, especially when backed by their risen followers. As a fallen soldier clad in plate armor, Death Knights have lots of defenses against your players. An AC of 20, immunity to necrotic and poison damage, advantage on saves against spells, these would be imposing enough. But they also get to parry as a reaction, adding plus 6 to their already high armor class on a melee attack that would have otherwise hit. That's a lot to remember, so you might want to make a note for yourself on your DM or computer screen so you don't forget about all those different defenses in the moment. Offensively, not only does the knight have a sword and hellfire orb that are both powerful, they have access to a variety of spells. Some of them, like Staggering Smite, can even be used in conjunction with their weapon attacks. I like to pick a few of the most useful spells, like the smites and banishment, and write out a short description of what they do in my notes. It'll save you having to look them up and slow down combat in the moment. Lastly, the Death Knight is built to lead other undead minions into battle, and I mean that literally. Their martial undead ability gives any other reanimated allies within 60 feet advantage against turn undead. If you want your undead hordes to challenge the party cleric, that edge could be the difference between a tough fight and a total wash. So when you can, and if your party's strong enough, pair your Death Knight up with other undead. At CR 17, a Death Knight can be the big bad evil guy for a whole campaign. A fallen paladin is full of potential as a villain. Why did they break their oath? Can they be redeemed? If you have a paladin in your party, the Death Knight can serve as an excellent foil, maybe even challenging their own conviction and dedication to their oath. And because they can marshal undead, having minions comes naturally to them. Of course, for a higher level party, Death Knights are great henchmen for powerful undead like liches or demon lords such as Orcus, commanding entire armies of undead soldiers and protecting them from holy magic. A solo Death Knight or group of warriors facing down your players in epic battles or tracking them across the plain are nothing to take lightly. Because of their varied abilities, Death Knights are also a fantastic candidate for a reskin stat block taking their existing abilities but reflavoring them to be a tyrannical warlord or dark god's champion means even if they look different, death knights can work in many different campaigns. You can always mix and match their spells, attacks, and immunities to better fit the character that you're looking for. No matter how you use them, death knights are some of the coolest and most versatile marshals in the entire monster manual. That's it for this 5 minute monster all about death knights. I hope you got some inspiration for your own game. If you've used Death Knights at your table before, I'd love to hear how it went in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you consider leaving a like and subscribing to the Bards College. I make videos about D&D, DMing, and everything in between, so if you like this one, there's more out there. But for now, good luck, and remember, crit your players.